Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the November 2025 update for Windows 11 25H2. This is the Patch Tuesday or the B release for the month of November in the main release of Windows 11. In this video, we are talking about the build 26200.7171 or build code KB5068861 that was released for Windows 11 25H2 on the main release. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about everything that you need to know about this new update, changes, improvements, and fixes, and of course, if you enjoy videos like these please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one so let's begin with the video first of all microsoft is making some announcements and some changes to this update they are modifying the simplified windows update titles and it now only show the date prefixes the key number and the build or version so i think that is pretty useful related to windows updates also microsoft is announcing that we won't have a feature updating the month of december of course as always because of the holidays, as well as another announcement related to Windows Secure Boot certificate expiration. And related to these certificates, most of them are set to expire starting in June 2026, and those need to be updated in time, along with the fact that Microsoft is stating that Windows updates are not including updates for Microsoft Store apps. So Windows updates are not updating Microsoft Store apps directly, but they are extending the rollout of certain apps. So of course, whenever you get a new Windows 11 update, make sure to also check for updates in the Microsoft Store. Now talking about how to get this latest updates and all the features that come with it of course open up the settings app go into the windows update section make sure you have get the latest updates as soon as they're available enabled and then click on check for updates and you should be good to go so this being the patch tuesday or the security update this update addresses security issues for your windows 11 operating system you can check out the official microsoft blog post for a more in-depth presentation of everything that was changed security wise and now let's talk about a few things that are specific to this build and then we're going to talk about some features that are extended the rollout and you should start seeing them on your operating system. First of all, related to gaming, Microsoft states that this update addresses an issue that affects gaming handheld devices. These devices were unable to stay in low power states, which caused faster battery drain. And also this update addresses an issue on some handheld gaming devices where after signing in using the built-in gamepad, the controller might not respond in apps for about five seconds, causing a delay. After you submit your password or pin, the touch keyboard on the sign-in screen hides automatically. This was also fixed. Related to storage, this update addresses an issue that could cause some storage spaces to become inaccessible or storage spaces direct to fail when creating a storage cluster. Microsoft also fixed the task manager issue that we had in the previous build where the close button didn't fully end the process, leaving background instances that could slow the performance over time. Well, now let's do this again. Let's open up and close the task manager a few times and let's see if this was fixed because this was quite a huge issue. And if we search for task manager, as you can see, we only have one process and that is the current process so the issue is now fixed in this update. Related to voice access, this update addresses an issue where voice access failed during initial setup if no microphone was connected and the voice model wasn't installed. Related to window management, this update addresses an issue where selecting the desktop could unexpectedly open task view. And finally, related to networking, this update fixes an issue in the http.sys request parser, a Windows component that reads and processes HTTP requests. Now talking about features that are extending the rollout in this update. Well, you may start seeing the new start menu inside Windows 11, which is now rolling out to more users. As you can see, this is a combined section with the pen and all app section, where you can also disable the recommended section if you want, alongside with this panel that allows you to see information about your phone. With a recent announcement from Microsoft, that recent photos won't be available to be seen in this section anymore, and also in the phone link app, because Microsoft is trying to make users use the File Explorer feature to connect to your phone and see photos there. We also have the new taskbar battery icons, which change their state depending on the status of your battery, if it is plugged in, unplugged, on energy saver, or on low battery. Also, Microsoft is enabling the taskbar notification center on secondary monitors, which was a feature that a lot of users requested, alongside with some new drag tray features that will allow you to quickly share files in your operating system. Other than that, Microsoft is also improving the settings section, the Windows 11 setup to be able to name the default user folder, and improvements for logging into your PC and Windows update. Related to apps in this update, you can also check for updates to get all the latest updates and you should get some updates related to the Copilot app and also the Snipping Tool app. The Copilot app update will come with some new connectors and the setting support whenever you're trying to change a setting and also the Snipping Tool app will come with the quick markup feature that allows you to customize a screenshot before taking it. And finally, the Paint app with some new improvements, the ability to use project files and save them and the new opacity slider that you can find in the left side of your page. 
campaign project. Of course, for a more in-depth presentation of all the features and changes that are extending the rollout to this build, make sure to check one of my previous videos that I've done that was the feature update or the preview update from last month. As I've said, those features are coming into this update in the November 2025 patch Tuesday. Of course, Microsoft is also updating the Windows 11 service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates reliably. More info about this on the official Microsoft blog post. So this is pretty much it. This is the November 2025 update for Windows 11 25H2. For more information, make sure to check out the article below in the video description, some of my previous videos, and also the official Microsoft blog post. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was your man from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.